everyone, mango 7 roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. Today we're going to talk about flat stats and why I think a lot of people are really, really undervaluing them right now. Uh, there's so much of a climb for good gear right now, and there's so few pieces we can upgrade. Uh, with the flat stat change we had very recently, it's pretty clear now that it's useful. You know, it may not be as good as percents at times, but it's definitely useful and you should definitely find somebody on your team that can use those flat stat main right side pieces of gear. So this spreadsheet was from Reddit from Haxorus Kappa. Thank you so much for putting this wonderful wealth of information together. And um, how to read it is pretty simple. I'll also link it in the description below. I'll actually link it to his uh, Reddit post um, instead. But to give you a real too long didn't read for this so you don't have to figure out how it works, uh, at level 85 with right side gear, so your ring, your neck, your boots, um, you get 500 attack from flat stats, you get 2700 HP from flat HP, and 300 defense from flat defense. And uh, this is the column we're going to want to look on. I honestly ignore the one on the right because the right two are level 50. So we're going to look at this one only. Um, the left side are just the base stats of all the units, and then this is what that person specifically gets from a percent set. And anything here in red means they get more from the flat stat than they would the percents. So taking a look at this, uh, for example, we see Aether here gets 2,548 HP from 60% HP ring or neck or boots. I'll just say right side from this point on, but he gets 2,700 from uh, a flat HP. So flat HP is actually better on Aether than it is for 60% HP. So that's something really big to consider. And also, uh, I level 88, I believe has higher flats as well. I'm not sure how much more, but those ones as well will be even more so. So judging from this list, I see a lot of people saying this doesn't really matter because uh, there's really only one or two people that take advantage of this and are actually better than HP percents. Um, that main unit that everybody keeps bringing up is Tamarin. Uh, Tamarin here gets 2622 HP from flat H or from a 60% HP ring and gets 2700 from a flat HP. So she gains 78 HP just from flat. And that's not very big, but it opens up endless opportunities for gear now. Uh, before it just wasn't worth it to do flat stats unless there were speed subs, but now. It is so unbelievably worth it to upgrade any right side um, ring or neck, basically, with flat stats um, with good subs, because those subs are going to make up for the difference on a lot of these units. And you have to notice here, uh, 2700 is the base we're looking at for flat HP. That's the number we need to hit for flat HP to be worth it. And those are all the ones in the red. But we also have to consider other things that aren't specifically um, better. Because we have Araminta here, for an example, uh, 2743 HP from 60% HP. But uh, she also gets 2700 HP from flat HP. So that's a 43 HP difference. And honestly, if I can get a flat HP ring, and I am using HP percent on my Araminta right now, by the way. If I can get a flat HP ring with good substats, that's definitely going to make up for any amount of 43 HP, whatever that gives me. Um, and it's going to give you like double the opportunity and equipment to upgrade as well. So you really, really, really need to take a look at this list and take a look at each unit you own as you're upgrading your gear, as you're looking for gear and try to figure out which one fits best. Um, even somebody like Akades here has uh, 3000 HP. Um, if you have a ton of people like A Ravi here, who get 4,300 HP from 60%, and then you have a bunch at 3,000 HP for 60%, and you have eight rings to give out, and most of them are HP percents, but a couple are flats, you're obviously gonna have a really good time giving the flats to Akades because while it's not as good, it's still pretty darn close, and um, the subs may be better because of it. A really good example of this is Montmorency. And think if you have a 60% ring uh, and you're trying to share it between your 20 different units and none of them really have good substats, but you get this flat HP ring and it's got 25% effect resistance to 10 speed. And you're like, wow, that's insane. But too bad it's flat HP. And that was a thought you'd have maybe like a month or two ago. 
But now you can safely put that on your Montmorency. You'll lose a little bit of HP, but you'll gain the insane subs that it has. And this doesn't just go with HP. I'm just using HP as a reference, but you can also go the same reasoning for attack. You can also go the same reasoning for defense. And the other cool thing about this is if you're trying to stack a specific stat, uh, for example, if you are trying to stack um, attack on Aether, you could get attack percent on your ring and you could also get flat attack on your ring as well as a substat and try to get as many into that as possible just to get the absolute max you can get for attack. Now, one thing I'm not entirely sure about here is how um, substats are affected. Like, for example, right now, we know with Tamarin, because of this line right here, um, that Tamarin gets 26.22% uh, from, or 26.22 HP from 60% ring. God, this is confusing. I'm sorry. Uh, so a 78 HP difference. But do does that same sort of thing translate to substats? Like, for example, will an 8% HP substat translate to less than a max roll flat HP? Um, that's honestly something I don't know. I'm hoping you guys can answer. But either way, um, we need to really, really, really keep an eye out for gear at this point. And I just wanted to be as clear as I can, even though this is as confusing as possible, but it's really easy once you take a look at this spreadsheet. And it's something you should have on hand at all times, especially during free equipment removal, because um, you can really min-max your gear because of this. Somebody like Ravi, Apocalypse Ravi here with 4232 HP, we are pretty much never using flat HP on a Ravi. So her gear stays the same as it did a month or two ago. But somebody else like Araminta, somebody else like Amount Morrency, anybody in that range near similar stats for flat and percents, those people are absolutely going to want to look at this gear now. And again, I'm reiterating this 50,000 times because I want to make sure everybody understands. This is especially true with um, 88 accessory rings, I believe, from Hell Raid as well. Because uh, I believe, I don't know what stat you get from them, but once you figure out what flat stat you get from the Hell Raid ring, I should know that, but I don't because I don't have any upgraded right now. And I don't have any in my bags. I sold them all because I'm really angry about that. Uh, but anybody with those will probably be better than the 60% too. So this is a really confusing video. Um, I, I tried to do this one a couple times. I couldn't really explain it well enough. But I, I'm, I'm hoping I explained this spreadsheet well enough. And I'm hoping you really take a look at flat stats at this point. I'm really hoping you watch your rings, you watch your necks, you watch your boots. You just be really careful with what you fodder. Because I've definitely foddered rings now that would have been absolutely insane. Absolutely bonkers before or after the flat stat change. But we're pretty trash before the flat stat change so you really 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 need to consider and um in the grand scheme of things i honestly think this is one of the best changes we've had in the game so far because this really really makes it so individual characters you have to think about which piece of gear you give them and you can really min max them because of that so anyways Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. If you have any questions, if you don't understand, send me a message in Discord and we can try to figure it out. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.